Buenas tardes a todos. Hello everyone. I would like to begin my presentation highlighting that the title of my presentation, Representativeness of Roma in the Development, Implementation and Evaluation of the National and Regional Strategy, is not by chance, because as I understand it, that's precisely the key that makes it possible or not the success of the new European strategy regarding Spain. The Ministry of Labour and Social Economy has already presented a document which has been agreed by a public consultation process, which is the European Social Fund Strategy Plus 2021-2027. And we access, had access to this document by the State Council of the Roma people. This new document regarding Roma population is linked to another one which has been promoted by the European Commission, which is the EU Roma Strategy Framework for Equality, Inclusion, and participation 2020-2030 that was presented in Berlin in 20th of October 2020. So we are in a very important moment where the foundation and the structures are redefined as well as investment for the next year regarding our inclusion. And from the Maranata Federation, we participated at the public consultation on this document, European Social Fund Strategy 2021-2027. But I'm going to give the floor to one of our technicians to give you more details. Hello everyone, as you can see on the screen, this is the European Social Fund Plus Strategy 2021-2027 for Spain, presented for public consultation at the end of 2020 by the Ministry of Labour and Social Economy. The document outlines the priorities and the multi-annual financial framework for the inclusion for the period 21-27 with different legal proposals that will shape cohesion policies. Along with these priorities, specific objectives, targets, groups, thematic areas, and a system of indicators and evaluation are mentioned. As this is a document regarding to the inclusion of Roma people, as José Alfredo Maya has already mentioned, is linked to the other document we see on the screen, promoted by the European Commission at the request of several civil society organizations, the European Council and the European Parliament. We are talking about the EU strategic framework for Roma equality, inclusion and participation. 2020-2030. It's a rather brief document that could actually be considered as a declaration of intentions and objectives for the Roma population in the decade that it's beginning. As we can see, its main objectives are to reduce by at least half the proportion of Roma citizens who have suffered discrimination, to double the proportion of Roma who file a complaint when they are discriminated, to reduce the poverty and the privation gap between Roma community and mainstream society by at least half, reduce the participation gap in early childhood education by at least half, reduce by at least half the proportion of Roma children attending segregated primary schools, reduce by at least half the employment and gender gaps in gaps and reduce the gap in life expectancy by at least half. Indeed, we've been struck by the El hecho de que en el ámbito educativo, in the field of este education, this strategic framework talks about reducing the participation gap in early childhood education 
reducing the number of children attending segregated schools, but it makes no mention whatsoever of reducing social failure and dropout rates. But coming back to the citizen consultation on the ESF plus strategy 2021-2027 document, the consideration presented by this federation after the experience gained with the previous European strategy 2020 focused que se on two of the aspects that were considered essential for una, this new strategy to have a real chance of achieving objetivos. at least part of its objectives. Como vemos en el documento we can see in the document we provided in the public consultation we are marking highlighting in yellow the reference text indicating also the page where it can be found And then we add our comments. En la página dos, On page donde two, dice, where it says de the partnership principle involves close cooperation between national, regional, and local authorities civil, and representatives of civil society with experience and direct links to the fields of action. And that diciendo, it continues on en la página siguiente, page on the en next page. Fase, in the first phase, the strategic analysis has been carried out. Where, as a result of that analysis, the relevant partners to be involved in, in the, the ESF Plus programming phase had been identified, and a permanent process of strategic dialogue has been initiated based on meetings grouped by themes that have been held since June 2019. We consider two issues in this regard. First, similarly, the State Council of the Roma People is one of the public sector bodies that had been called upon in the partnership process to actively participate in the design, monitoring and evaluation of the new ES+. We consider as well essential that, with regard to the partnership chosen from among the non-profit organizations, that we can see on the screen, a Roma representative or organization previously agreed upon by the Roma community should also be included. And the second thing for the text would be se llevan realizando reuniones temáticas, meetings como have been documento, held for a year and a half on issues que nos van a afectar that de una are going to affect us in a very años. direct way over the Pero next few years. But nobody has Por informed tanto, us. Que el conjunto de las entidades so we need all Roma organizations to be represented in this partnership and to take active part in all the processes concerning the ESF+, Plus. above all, taking into consideration what the document itself states when it says that the purpose of this document is to establish the main elements of the ESF+, Plus for Spain, and that its content will constitute de the starting diseño, point for the design de la and the elaboration of the partnership agreement 2021-2027. On page 16, in reference to section 7, where the indicators and evaluation system is described, we consider that all that is foreseen in the strategy will lead to nothing if we don't achieve a real follow-up and evaluation mechanism that allow us to monitor the different investments, actions and level of results obtained with respect to the different initial situation and the objectives foreseen in the application of these funds. This is something that was already raised and determined at the beginning of the 2020 strategy, which is not coming to an end, but which has not been done in the end. The annual reports indicate the investments and the actions carried out 
but do not reflect the objectives achieved with respect to the initial document presented in 2011. The strategy, the document for the EFF Plus strategy states that the monitoring system for the programming period 2021-2027 is based on a shared management system where the monitoring committees established for each program will play a major role in monitoring the performance of the program and all the factors influencing it. The system will be supplemented by annual performance review meetings between the Commission and the Member States. The Member State shall establish a performance framework to enable monitoring reporting and evaluation of the performance of the programs during implementation and to contribute to measuring the overall performance of the funds. The performance framework shall consist of the following elements. First, the performance and result indicators linked to the specific objectives Secondly, milestones to be achieved by the end of 2024 for the performance indicators. And thirdly, targets to be achieved by the end of 2029 for output and result indicators. We consider that the points outlined in the document are crucial, but we also know that the real starting point in each of the areas addressed might first be clearly identified and delimited especially in the areas of education and employment, so that we can compare the results obtained with the objectives and ascertain the true degree of fulfillment, as well as allow us to measure the return on, return on investment in proportion to these indicators. In the document called EU Strategic Framework for Roma Equality, Inclusion and Participation 2020-2030, which is closely linked to the EFF Plus strategy itself, talks about a 50% reduction of the employment gap among other issues. We consider that these issues are too serious and important in that sense to state such objectives without providing any data to the point we are really starting from. In practice, this would mean that it would be impossible to monitor the real progress and the effective impact of each of the investments. It is also surprising and striking that the strategic framework 2020-2030 document does not establish a priority, a reduction of the number of students who leave school without obtaining the secondary compulsory education, and this is one of the most important priorities for the future. Finally, we would like to add the need for the content and guidelines of this ESF plus strategy to be maintained in the corresponding strategies developed by the autonomous communities and regions at the same time, since it is through them that all the interventions are finally materialized. And I would like to conclude claiming something that is above the content of this strategy and all strategies. As, for instance, the fact that it is absolutely necessary to have a participation and representation of Roma people in the development, implementation and assessment of any strategy focus on the Roma people. Finally, this, our uh, contributions were not so useful for the strategy when we presented them. We knew that because we know that consultation process are just a formality that they have to do uh, before the commission. But 
Uh, we also know that it's just a formality to have the Roma entities there at the beginning of the strategies which are being carried out in the different regions or countries. But we don't have a real capacity to decide the important matters. I could give you thousands of examples, but I know that all of you know, and I don't need to uh, prove them. If we are honest, the truth is that sometimes we are accomplices of something which is not really for the good of our people. Results can be given, especially when we know how many resources have been devoted to these policies, although it is true that those Todo of us who are participating in those processes want to change it, including Roma councils, whether from the state or regional. And we are there and we knew that they are not really Roma councils. But the truth is that at the end we are trapped in this kind of cloaks that is not bearing the fruits we hope and that deludes our Roma essence itself and it creates something very different from what we should be. If Roma entities don't have the representation and the participation that we should have in this inclusion policy, from Europe, whether Spanish, Italian, or from any other country. And I'm very sorry to say that, but it's something that we all know. The strategy will not have a good future, will be dead. Because we all know the result of these processes Que la realidad results that la our daily life in on the streets más, will make clear. It doesn't matter how many reports or assessment they try realidad. to do. And they, they just try to hide reality. We lived it already with the strategy 2020. But we are not going to feel hopeless knowing all this. Honestly, our commitment is with the Roma people, and it is to do whatever, everything we can to prevent this from happening again, with the spirit that Marcel showed us during his life. But we only will, we only have one possibility. If we can, we will only be able to do this if we do this together, all of us. Thank you very much. Bueno, Bere, ¿quieres hacer algún comentario Bere, más? Bere, ¿would you like to add any comments? A veces no hemos tenido la información. Y yo, um, algo sometimes que me, we don't have access to information. Um, Marcel Gurtiade taught me, and he always told me that in, que, on time information is crucial, es poder. is what we need. Y on time si information no is power. And if we don't llega, have access pues to that information, pasa lo que nos pasa, ¿no? que tarde y mal. then we esa, cannot esa a veces llega tarde es the programs and everything. And sometimes I think that no they reacción. do it on purpose. Eh, they don't provide us with information in such a way that we cannot react. Hoy, and I think hoy, that Roma organizations no nowadays do not have the resources. Uh, yeah, I wish we had the resources and, and this huge organization poder, have. Uh, we, we, I wish that we had more staff so we could work in several spheres, bueno, eh, but we que, have to work uh, with what we have. Decir, and creo que, bueno, eh, that's something I wanted eh, to, uh, that I would have dado, liked to pues say this lo, morning. But now <laughs> I say it, and <laughs> okay, it's okay. I think Nazareno wants to ask you something. I'm going to speak slowly so you can understand us. Unity. 
Unity and anything that we, it's something that we have been looking for for a long time. We can't go for unity as a goal, but we have to be very clear. The evolution is marked by ideas. Unity is useful if we have one idea behind it. In Italy, we have 30 politician parties and a parliament. We two different unions and they, wo they are working. We have to be careful with the call to unity because it's also dangerous. If we do not have a clear goal, if we don't have a well-defined idea, then we have to see that this is a we weapon with to different uh, possibilities because we have to be careful. In Italia, we have, have a solution for it. So we looked for unity, but we didn't have a common vision. So unity is important, but we have to know where we are leading to. If not, we are we are making it easy, easy for people to use Roma people for their own interests, if we don't have our own interests at hand. I hope that you, understand, you have understood me. Jorge, you have the floor now. Thank you, Carlos. Yes, I fully agree with Nazareno. And I also wanted to tell you a little bit what's happening here, in case it's useful for you over there. Because apart from the importance of unity, we use this Roman measurement device. We always have some problems here among the different communities. There are cultural differences. Um, we sometimes do not take into account that we have uh, gone through various and different paths. And it's difficult for us to focus on unity. And that would be an advantage for a system. And we understand that to fight against the system and to get things from the system, we have to work together. And I also agree with Jose, with Bere, because it is sometimes it's not a mistake that we don't have access to uh, information. It's, we've signed uh, the Covenant 190 in which indigenous people in Argentina have to be granted um, human rights and also for tri tribes like the Roma people. This was in 1931, 32 years ago, where we were uh, assured that we would have um, the respect for our traditions and everything, and we have achieved nothing. So it is not that they have forgotten. It is a political decision because there is a covenant which was already signed so many years ago. And another difference between um, America and Argentina and Europe, you are much more advanced than we are. But I'm afraid that the only way to strengthen our position is if we join forces. If Roma people uh, keep on fighting for leadership, resources will go to organizations which are not Roma, and money will be invested there in the way they want, and they will allocate it as they want, and we will be claiming 
no lo van a, dar porque, a role that eh, we are not getting. First of all, due to policy reasons, and then as well because we are not joined together. Education is crucial for anything we want to do in life. And unfortunately, we lack education. Roma population is one of the minorities with less access to education. If we see uh, you, the you minorities, the Jews, they do have access to education and we can see that the difference between our two minorities is huge. They've been awarded Nobel Prizes, so many. Um, proportionally, there's the, the same number of you people and Roma people, but we don't have education and this is against us. So I think that we have to focus on education. And that's not the solution for every single issue, but the thing is that we will be able to face them. And it will be much easier for us to face all the issues. And also we have to overcome all the leadership issues we have. So I just wanted to say this because in Spain, is one of the countries that has granted uh, rights for Roma people. There are politicians and so on. In America, we didn't get them. They have signed some uh, agreements. They are giving us subsidies. And I don't want subsidies, I want rights. Uh, subsidies is just to get out of a certain situation, but rights are forever. And we have to fight for our rights. Thank you. Regarding Nazareno's comment that we have to be careful with unity, yes, you're right, but it depends on which is the point of view you are. It is not just having one one single idea, but it is having a united population, united nation. Um, not having this group, we are not represented in Brussels. We have the, some people are there talking for us on our behalf, but they are not Roma, but you all know what I'm referring to. There's not a real representation of Roma people in Brussels, not in Spain, not anywhere else. And that unity was the unity Barry was referring to, regardless of the other organizations and everything which has been mentioned before. And all, of course, those who are outside, what Vere said on the presentation of the document we've been working with, and also we have given an answer to the citizen consultation, and they were focusing only on one item, which is the most important item that Teresa mentioned, which is participation. If we have, we have only said that we want to participate and we have not been allowed to. So what I would like to say is that if we have uh, if they, we were really joined together, they wouldn't ignore our claims. And I think that would be the case for so many other things. If we were united when we had the strategy 2020, no, Excuse me. Okay, yes, talking about unity again. There are some institutions some Roma institutions 
And they may focus on the need of unity. I always wonder why our culture or traditions are not valued. Why don't we have a place in the CNN, for instance, uh, talking about the violence suffered by Roma people? Or why don't we have a program helping, supporting Roma people? To, to fight for our rights. We are vulnerable. We have issues with housing, education, health. All those situations, all those issues are affecting us. And we should disseminate that knowledge. I'm afraid that we are living in different places doing different things, but we are not visible. This is not visible for the world. And for instance, as we have the president of the International Roma Union, if they work together with some other international organizations, I think we can achieve this union, this unity. We have much more difficulties apart from leadership. We are everywhere in the world, and this is a difficulty as well, but with globalization, technology can help us. Technology allows us to do this kind of thing. We can take advantage of the unity and we can fight together and decide what do we need everywhere in the world. And usually our needs are similar anywhere, anywhere in the world. Then we, we may have disagreements about individual or specific things, but there are some general issues which are common. We are not part of humanity yet. And this might sound ridiculous, but when we analyze it, we are not part of humanity. Our rights are not being taken into account. Our identity still today is not recognized. United Nations says that we are a nation, that we are the Roma people, but reality, the fact, we are not recognized as a, as a group of people. They think we are thieves, that we don't uh, get into normal society, that we are not integrated. And I would say that there's a lack of a nexus between standard society and Roma communities. We need a bridge. So we can receive, we can access the solutions we need for our main issues. We have lots of positive aspects to show to the society, but the society has no interest in seeing all those positive aspects. They just want to see the negative things. And when a, a Roma individual wants to show something positive, he doesn't find a place to do that. So what I say that, for instance, the IRU should try and value, I don't know, for instance, the papusa, who is the poet, so, so important, or the father or the Roman narrative, which is who is Mateo. I mean, we have the material. In Spain, there are many role models, especially from music. Um, they can be representatives of what I'm saying here. And really concerning, concern about the lack of unity. I work as a teacher, and I can see that our children 
are in, in not una, treated in school, properly no in a school, it's very hard to go to a school and to realize that they don't want you there. And it is difficult to teach someone you don't love. The lack of materials, the lack of knowledge about the Roma people within society is huge. So you only find stereotypes. We have to get rid of those stereotypes and we have to showcase our values. And for that, we need that the main Roma institutions to step ahead. We need a um, strong representativeness. We, we are all about all around the places. We don't have unity. So we always end up in the same place. We need to be together. We need someone to lead on those 10 items or any other items that we agree. That's the only solution. Thank you. Carlos, I don't know if you've seen it, but you have to introduce Nazareno, but we also have here a comment from Boria. Unity is fundamental in order to reach greater visibility and a greater voice to access our rights, equality and respect, to act as a transnational nation and also as a national citizens with rights within the countries. If we don't work for internal equality and also gender equality, because then, then our situation is harder because we, if we cannot fight for our rights when our people are living in a very bad situation. Women, Roma women are not living. Uh, greetings to everyone. Sati Piantali, Boria Stefanowski. There's another comment. Comment from sí. Juan Antonio Cortés. Vea. Sí, Juan Antonio Cortés dice, Buenas tardes. Good afternoon Peñíscola, from Peñíscola, Castellón. I would like to ask if unity is what we want in order to achieve real and effective goals for our children. My question is, what do we need to achieve it? And who are the ones who have to be united? Please be brief, because we should be introducing Nazareno right now. Jorge Does anyone want to answer Jorge? Yes. Um, let me insist, we have institutions, strong institutions. I'm talking about the International Roma Union and some other institutions. And they can write a document to work in the different countries looking for that unity, that union. I think we have to write something powerful. It's not very difficult because all of us know what we need. I mean, it doesn't matter in which country we are living. We have the same needs. We share the same issues. As that would be the first step for me, and to ask for funding and to create programs. I think that if we join 20 international associations and they create a union in order to manage matters, then it's not so difficult. We lack rights. That's what we that's what we lack. And then, following Jorge's speech and the question from Juan Antonio, from Peñíscola, I think he was. Yes. We are not looking just 
for the union of Roma organization. We are looking for the union of Roma people individuals that join together for a common effort. Because we have to go to reality. And we need Roma people. We are the ones who should be there. Uh, that union has to come from our own people. As Jorge was saying, there are ten, ten items, for instance, uh, inequality, education, health, housing, employment. I mean, uh, we share those issues, we agree. I'm sure that there are more things, but those are fundamental things. Afterwards, uh, we can decide how to implement that, how to fight it. Maybe we might have different opinions about that, but I think we all agree that we have to end with this 